Hello and welcome to Chess with Simon. I'm Simon. Well, I'm just calming down after playing a King's Gambit uh, in Blitz, which I really enjoyed. Knight c6, develop the knight. Will my opponent play c5? Oh, he's going to think about it. So I don't know. And that's all very disturbing. I mean, let's go back to that, because I want to know now um, what what his options are. C5. He could take on C6. It looks like the other options are all good for me. So C5 is just the move they play. Mm, I still don't understand that move. What does it achieve? Perhaps someone clever can tell me. Bishop F8. King H1. We can't take that, can we? There's some kind of Amazing tactic, which I assume there is, like taking the knight on c6 is probably the amazing tactic we're talking about. That would be an example. So, okay, let's, I guess we've got to wait for c5 and then we've got to work out what to do with it and what it all means. This one, knight f6 is very natural. I assume we play rook e1. Ooh, queen e2 is more common. Ooh, rook e1 gives black more chances. But I mean rook e1. Come on. So natural. E6, C3, I assume, yeah. Should I play Queen E2, do you think? Why do, why do they play Queen... The, I'll tell you what's going to happen. The Rook's going to come to the D file, isn't it? After Queen E2, what you'll get is something like... Yeah, not yet, but you'll get Rook D1. B3, wow, B3. What does it all mean? Castles. Oh, it's a Maroxy. C4. A6. I mean, this is a different world. I, I'm sort of more in the school of Rook E1 and then C3 and um, and D4. You know, just, just have a build upon centre. C3. Bishop E7, D4. Yeah. Look, the figures are terrible for white. They're terrible. But... Come on, how can this be bad though? Knight BD2? This is really bad for white. I mean, positionally, you'd say it's fine, isn't it? Come on, we're going to follow our convictions here. We're going to do this. Look, no points for white. B3, really? Why can't you play knight f1? Queen c7, it's all a draw. It's all a draw. How very depressing. Maybe I've learnt something. Maybe I've learnt something. All right, let's get let's hitch ourselves to the Queen E2 train. Let's learn something new. I think that's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. Here, Gary, I'm going to keep shuffling my pieces around and see if I can uh, uh, arrange a draw. I mean, can I can I keep your king out? It's a bit unclear, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to play this. In an attempt to search for a draw. I'll need a bit of luck. And, yeah. Okay, I think here you've got a choice. Bishop e6 and you compromise your pawn structure. Or bishop g6. And you go to opposite coloured bishops and a dead equal ending. Uh, mm. There we go. It'll be alright. Horde coach is all over me. But, you know, my hoard of pawns marches on right. Not really. What's the best here? So... Well, I'll try and keep the knight out of the game. How about that for an idea? You need an idea. The problem is the bishop can take here, then. 
you know, life isn't perfect, right? We try, but it isn't. This one, I'm doing this, and I'm hoping to sack here. So I think they'll advance the pawn. If you sack here, it's kind of over, because then, well, let's just do some, let's do some examples. Go here. Just let's say this happens. This happens. No, that's actually not right. Let's say this happens. You sack here. Then you're taking here, but then this, you see, and then that. I think that's over. So I think, I think what's got to happen here is push, and then takes, 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 and then this, which is an attempt to at least hold the queen out for a bit. Another thing I could do is just play for Zugzwang and not... Uh, or maybe knight move. There's a lot of options, aren't there? Maybe redeploy this knight across. Because now these pawns can't move. Maybe you redeploy the knight here to here. Actually, I quite like that. Uh, maybe that can wait I think black's going to win this that's my confident claim I'm worried about the pawn coming to here then here maybe I shouldn't be because maybe then the knight can come to here and you can attack this pawn Uh, queen a8 or knight f7 what would you do I'm hearing knight f7 from the voices in my head maybe that's worrying Nigel wants an end game and you know what so do I it's actually quite a relief to me because I think my king is more vulnerable than I mean I know I'm struggling to hold this I mean I'm under no illusions but I actually quite look forward to it. I think the bishop's a better minor piece. Uh, yeah, I think white is definitely, clearly winning by a pawn. But I think black even has a better position. I mean, the issue is this, right? Takes, takes. Here then goodbye your minor piece but I don't know I don't know I, I think uh, I'm kind of optimistic what else would I do if I didn't take the queen just move my queen out right move my queen to like here Oh, then the rook goes. Uh, it's a bit passive, isn't it? Should we just snap it off and deal with the consequences later? Let's snap it off. We'll play a6. We don't even need to play a6 necessarily because if the knight takes, you can put the rook behind it and win the back pawn. Let's uh, let's just snap it off and just, you know, that's life. You've got to make a decision, right? Otherwise, we all fall asleep. I'm going to take this rook. I mean... Otherwise, we go from winning to losing. We don't want to do that. I'm just going to play this, aren't I, Ian? That's what you're expecting, isn't it? The weak square here is not an enormous problem. And that pawn was weak. So, I think it's right. I, sp I guess the bishop goes to e3, and I guess you've programmed it in. No, okay, this one, Gareth. I'm kind of trying to evict this bishop. And I'm going to take with a knight if you take, and otherwise I'm going to put my bishop on g2 and claim it looks kind of pretty, which it does. I suppose the point is if you go bishop g4, will I go bishop e2 and hope for a draw? You know, I just might. But let's see what you decide to do. This one against Nick, I think it wants to play f4, and I think I've given in to that idea and said, yeah, fine, we'll play f4. I think uh, I see why. I don't think it creates much risks. This is my other game with Ian. I don't know what to do here. 
this I think at this point Wesley So is recommending G3 well 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 G3 so we've got to listen to Wesley Ian again um, is that all of them gosh time really does fly when you're having fun Oh, one other thing I should say is I did make a move accidentally actually because I don't understand how live chess works on the Simbacane game but luckily it was the move I wanted to make check and broadly what I expect to happen is this king here rook here rook here rook here king here rook there rook there takes takes there 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 and white wins that might not all happen we'll see okay that's that next chess.com okay let's log in so the drama of my tactics grace continues let's not get bogged down in that because the more you make it a drama the more it becomes a drama this was a great move by C. L. C. L. and Puffin. I think I can draw this, because what happens is King check King there. I back off King takes. I play F five check, and lock it up. And just to to show you actually. So how it goes? I think this is what's going to happen. I don't think Black can win this here, but then I'm run out of moves. You can't E five doesn't work here. Takes check there. And then this is just a draw because if white ever plays h5, you just take it and there's no entry points. So I think that we just take and we just accept it. So we could eat, we're not going to offer a draw. There's no need. It's a draw. I mean, it's always interesting. It's always interesting to actually see what happens because let's defend that pawn. Because um, we learn, I don't really like offering draws unless it's stone cold draw because. It's, I mean, of course, no one wants to lose, but we all learn by all of these things that happen. Takes queen, takes, takes, takes. So what I'm going to do is this. This is the general plan. Takes, takes, check, takes, king there. Then we're going to put the rook on a8, and we're going to... If the rooks come off, we win. If the rooks stay on, we've got a good chance of winning. winning. KID, four pawn attack, opening club. Okay, we've only had one game. Um, but what did I say? Take the queen. Queen takes queen. As we'd say in the old descriptive notation. Okay, I think we've won this because I think this is what's going to happen. Here, 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 and then I think. Well, maybe we've not won it. You know, maybe. Maybe, well, I think we've got, the truth is, well, I haven't calculated it, but the answer is, I don't think Black's going to win it. So I think it's playing for two results. It gets tricky. We've got a chance to penetrate, but it may be that we can't convert it. This is fun. So this is threatening mate in one. Luckily, we can defend it with a bishop. And unluckily for Black, I think it wins a piece because... The queen, this will be really annoying for black, I'm afraid. The queen can't defend the bishop. So, uh, I think that's a piece. And you can't sack the queen. It's not meaningful because the king just goes here. It's worth looking at, though, just to check. Otherwise, you look very silly indeed, which I have done more times on a chessboard than I can possibly tell you. Free pawn. We're a piece up here, so... It should be okay. Piece up, better position. Great bishop. Just let's move our king towards the centre. King and pawns. This one, we're going to play Wesley So's Italian. We're going to play Italian in the style of Wesley So's chessable course. I don't know what to do here. What would you do? I don't know. It's not. I mean, it's hard to know. Josh. Hmm. Uh, you're a piece up 
And I'm very lucky here because, I mean, I found a mate, I keep finding mating sequences. Okay. Mm. Check. King here, that's that's can't be viable, can it? Check. You know, it just can't this can't be right. There's got to be a mate in there. I just think there's got to be a mate there. So I think... And you can't go this way, I don't think. You just, you know. So I... Well, I suspect... And it's pretty rough because if we go back, black won a piece with a fine tactic. Uh, you know, won that bishop with a fine tactic. So queen d5 was the move. Unfortunately for black, white had enough pressure on the black king that we were able to um, drum up an initiative, which I think is probably mating. And I think even after the tactic, even after, I don't think black's misplayed this, even after the tactic, um, that won the piece, I think white was winning because there was just so much. Did I have to say this, didn't I? I mean, the queen can take it, but that's not going to help. The black queen can take it, but that's not. Okay. I suspect most things win here for white because the king's just... There's so many... Well, there's three major pieces. And even though black has some defending pieces, it's really hard. I don't know what to do here. I'll think about it. Ooh. This is the Rogozin, right? You can take. You can play E3. Um, I'm gonna, I've got days to think about this. The, the only game that Fluffy Cat and I played was a, was a bullet game. Grob. So playing a seven-day correspondence is rather different, isn't it? Okay. Here, we're going to do one puzzle. We always finish with a puzzle. We're not going to finish with a blitz game because it's bedtime and I'm going to bed earlier these days. I'm trying to... Okay. So we're a piece down and black is got lots of attacking ideas. So we can easily win a rook. That's easy. Um, we could take on e6, check. Take an e6, kick, check, king f7, queen d7, king sort of f8 or g8, and then the check at the back is probably decisive. So if you take an e6, so is that just a winning idea, taking on e6? Should we just not just punt it? Okay. So now I think there's a check at the back with the queen. Check with the queen. King g7. Okay, check with the queen. King g7. Queen f6 check. I think this queen check's got to be it. Queen f6 check. And then you take on somewhere like g6. You know you see these. Yay. Okay. Hope you're all well. Hope to see you soon.